Hey friends, it's Ashley and today I am here with a new layout for the cut shop and I'm using one of the brand new cut files that's available in the cut shop store today and it is called floral frame. You can see it here. Um, it's just a pretty flower cut file that kind of frames the outside of your page and I am working with the crepe paper willow lane collection by Maggie Holmes and I also used um, one of the background papers from the chasing dreams collection and you can see I have cut the cut file from white cardstock. I initially thought I would do white cardstock for my back ground um, but I really wanted the cut file to stand out so that's why I decided to use this kind of pink grid paper from the Chasing Dreams collection um, instead just to kind of have that cut file pop off the page once I backed it with the different papers and I'm working with the 6x8 paper pad from the Willow Lane collection and I'm just going through and choosing some of the different pattern papers to back the cut file. I think I use about eight different designs um, and I'm just going to do a few of these here so you can get an idea of what that's going to look like um, and these are fairly easy to back. It's not a very intricate cut file as far as tracing the outside edges. Um, it's kind of a basically a wonky circle. So it's fairly easy to cut those and back this and it went pretty fast. I finished it off camera and it probably took me less than 30 minutes to get that backed so it didn't take very long at all. And I'm just trying to vary the colors here, picking different patterns and colors so the same colors aren't stuck right beside one another um, just to kind of give it some interest. So I'm going to get this last one cut and placed on here and then I'll get all the rest of that done off camera and bring it back so you can see how it looks all finished up. And I really love the end result with all of the patterns behind the flowers. So I'm going to use my um, tape roller just to adhere this down and this is the permanent tape roller from scrapbook.com. Um, I love these. I buy the six pack and I will leave a link to these in the description box if you want to check those out. So I got that placed and I'm going to put my photo too so I can kind of start getting my embellishments built around that. Um, and I do want to fussy cut some of these butterflies. This is one of the pattern papers from the Willow Lane collection. And this is kind of a fun girly layout. So I wanted to add um, just a couple of butterflies and I'm actually cutting off the antenna on these. Um, it's really hard to, to kind of cut around those sometimes because they're so small and skinny. Um, but I actually am going to stitch down the center of these butterflies off camera. So the stitching kind of resembles the little antennas and I like the um, texture that the stitching adds to the layout once you add that. So I'm going to finish this last one here and I take those off camera to do the stitching so you don't have to watch me do that. Um, and I'm going to get kind of an idea of where I want those placed um, and that's kind of what I'm going for. And I want to use a couple of chipboard pieces. Um, I decided to use this piece as part of my title and I'm going to go ahead and add that there at that top corner. And I really like the way that contrasts with the black and the colors um, in the pattern papers. And so I've chosen another one of those black chipboard pieces to go right there under my photo. Now I'm using some of my foam adhesive. I want to pop these butterflies up and I'm using the liquid adhesive to do that because I want the wings to kind of fold up a little bit um, just for some dimension. Sometimes I hang these up um, on the little wire in my craft area. So before I put them in an album, they do have some dimension to them. So that's always fun. And I'm finishing up the title here with um, the sticker sheet. I liked this word dream. It had all of those colors um, that I used from the six by eight paper pad to back my flowers. And so I like how that brings all of that color together on the layout. And I'm gonna go ahead and back another one of the butterflies with some of the foam adhesive. I decided to pop up some of the embellishments this time um, and leave the flower cut file flat. Um, I have backed some of the cut files before with the foam adhesive to pop up the whole cut file, um, but I decided I wanted this to be flat on the background paper. And so I'm gonna pop up some of the embellishments instead. And I just like that um, look with the butterflies when you can pop the wings up. I just think that's really cute. And I'm also adding some dimension with the chipboard pieces. Um, I wanted to add a piece of the foam adhesive under this one so it could overlap um, this other chipboard piece. So I went ahead and took some of those cardboard pieces off of the back um, just to make it where it wouldn't be too um, dimensional on the layout. And so I liked the way that that turned out. And now I'm checking out the sticker sheet to see what I want to add from that. 
and I'm just finding a couple of little things here and there like the heart and some phrases and I do go back and forth a lot um, between the sticker sheet and the chipboard um, just to find the embellishments that I want to add to the layout and just kind of figuring out where they will place well um, what looks best what looks balanced on the layout and you can see I'm kind of creating a diagonal inside the flower frame um, having the title at the top left and the photo at the bottom right um, it's giving me just kind of a diagonal look on the layout um, and I really like that the way that that looks and um, just kind of offsets things but also adds balance to the page these are the foam thickers and they're really fun they also give some dimension um, and I wanted to add another one of those phrases I really like all the pops of black like I said um, the contrast is really fun and I'm stamping my date and of course using some black ink for that and I decided to add some splatters um, I have the Alta New white ink and you can't really see it very well on screen um, but it does show up really well on the layout especially when it's over some of the pattern papers and so I'm adding some splatters of that and I thought I was going to be done with the white so I re removed the cover off of my photo and came in to add some more of those foam thickers and just do some of the stars to kind of um, continue that diagonal look on the layout and so I like the way that those kind of just scatter across the page um, and while I was doing that I decided that I did want to come back and add some black color shine um, and dangerously forgot to cover my photo <laughs> but I remembered and went ahead and did that um, so I wouldn't get any ink on my um, on my photo and so I really like the way that this turned out and just having all of that kind of scattered look um, around the floral frame um, and so this is the completed layout you can see here coming up and I have a close-up I hope you enjoyed watching today if you did please give me a thumbs up I will leave a link to the cut file in the cut shop store and you can also see all of the new designs here coming up that are in the shop today um, thanks so much for watching and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time